Good morning, y'all. The, uh, the old slogan that's been around for years, probably 30 or 40 years, that speed kills still holds true today. Uh, we have some new technology which we're going to introduce today for our city, and I think we have a demonstration scheduled a little bit later. Um, if y'all recall, about a year ago we had uh, we had a vehicle with some with radar in it, and the General Assembly took exception to that, and we pulled it before the General Assembly action last year, but it, it's really hard for the General Assembly to keep up with new technology. So uh, we're going to introduce that today. Um, what you'll see today will basically be used in several different areas in our city. Uh, it's a real unique piece of, of technology, uh, one that I think will be useful. And again, the whole the whole reasoning behind this is to save lives. If you all recall, last year we had almost a catastrophic event at Alexander School. If it were not for a very alert crossing guard, um, that could have turned out to be a, a, just a terrible incident for a city involving a small child. So this is what uh, this is what this is about: is, is keeping our city safe. We had the same number of fatalities this year as we did last year, no increase, no decrease. Number of crashes in our city has been reduced uh, what, around 12 or 13 uh, percent from, from last year, which is a good thing. But there are critical areas in our city where we need to maintain uh, a safe environment for, for people, especially pedestrians, especially school children, and those areas that, uh, that we've had a number of phone calls on. You know, in our business, in the traffic division, you, you can't make everyone happy. Um, if they get a citation, obviously they're not happy. And those people who call in almost on a daily basis saying the traffic is just flying by our, by our business or by our home, please do something about it. So we understand how that works, uh, but be well assured that, that what we're doing today and the technology that's going to be brought forth is, is for one purpose that is to keep our, our city safe. So we are seeing some reduction as far as traffic issues in our community is concerned, but we don't want to be anesthetized by the numbers. It's serious as far as any crashes that we're having. Uh, and looking at some facts and figures prior to coming out of here, I went to a website. I thought this was uh, quite interesting. I think we need to think about uh, traffic is the biggest single killer of 12 to 16 year olds. At 35 miles an hour, you're twice as likely to kill someone as you would if you were traveling 30 miles an hour. So just those facts in and of itself tells us we need to be more responsible individuals as we're out here in the public and we're operating uh, the vehicles. Uh, to me, uh, an item or an instrument that is, I guess, like any weapon out there, it has, a, it has that ability and it can take lives if we don't use it and use it in an appropriate way uh, to, 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 you know, to, to, to keep from injuring someone. Um, one individual said that he thought as far as uh, just our driving uh, demeanor and so forth, our driving attitude, what it might uh, help if we were to slow down, not only from the fact of saving lives, we'd save ga gas, we'd save time, we'd even save our own insanity, and we'd simplify our lives. And just those five reasons alone would be something that would be warranted to <coughs> make us want to slow down, abide by the speed limits that are out there because uh, they are there for a purpose. They've been engineered and they know those to be the safe guidelines that we can operate in safely. So we're excited about this technology. The technology for, is a one component. One to allow the officers to actually get out in some of the areas where we have high traffic volumes where it's not really safe sometimes for the officer to pull out, try to stop the violator. It's not safe then many times for the violator but with this particular type of technology because it does have a digital camera with it. Uh, we can actually take a snapshot, you know, hence the word snap, the velocity snap program and it can be sent to the violator just like uh, the tickets would have been sent a long time ago when we had our, our mobile speed van. So uh, there's a number of different possibilities here as far as using this uh, particular component, and we're excited about uh, the use of it. I applaud Captain Sammy Britt and the members of our traffic division. Captain Britt became cognizant of this program quite a number of years ago. When he met with the mayor, the mayor felt comfortable that it'd be a good program for our community and pursued it, and here we are today with the implementation of it or getting ready to go forward. So I uh, thank the Traffic Division for their efforts and, and actions uh, in what they've done.